What's up, gang? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your late, but also right on time, October readings. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Regardless of which group you fall in, please make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are looking to book personal readings, you can book at SavvySentience.com, where you will also find spiritual drip and other cool things. So please make sure you take a gander at the site. Again, that's SavvySentient.com. And let's not delay any further because I know that y'all have been patiently waiting for these. Let's get into your reading. All right, Cancer. So let's talk about what y'all got going on because... Friend. While I was channeling y'all's energy... The message I got from Spirit verbatim says, we think that you may be underestimating your power. You have the moon conjunct Venus in your fifth house of pleasure. And this is giving me sex witch vibes. You have more power, especially as it pertains to your sexual energy, than you give yourself credit for. Your power of persuasion, your sexuality, and the ability to manifest through your sexual experiences. Uh, you got it. <laughs> you got it, whether you believe you do or not. Um, in your pre pool, what I got was the Mother of Swords, which can be kind of prudish. Uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Mother of Wands, which is sexy, seductive. Okay, so I kind of feel like Spirit wants you to kind of reevaluate who you are. You may want to be approved, but I feel like you have a little bit more uh, of a seductive nature and you are not utilizing it to its full potential. Um, so yeah, it's time to do some reevaluation of your power and how you go about wielding it, be it magical power, if you are a witch, if you are a practitioner, or be it just how you use your energy, okay? So we have the strength as your overall energy in the reverse. So weakness, doubt, uh, your ego, not so big, <laughs> or it may be uh, bruised, or um, you just may be operating out of an unhealthy ego, along with the 10 of wands in the bottom of the deck. So there's something happening in your life that uh, you're feeling like you're not strong enough to handle you are overburdened and you don't feel like you're strong enough to handle these burdens now like most of the messages thus far as we are in libra season uh they have been about love so for a lot of you all it is the burden of a relationship uh either a relationship that is unhealthy or a relationship that has ended. We have in your current situation, the Six of Wands, which is success, recognition, and victory, followed by the Two of Cups in the reverse. So I do feel like, again, this is either a relationship that has ended or a relationship that is unhealthy, that wasn't meant to be, um, that has fallen apart in some way, shape, or form. But you want success with this person. You want success and victory because you feel like this is your person you feel like this is your wish fulfillment okay with the nine of cups coming out in your current energy now what is crossing you or the obstacle that you're facing is the chariot with the five of pentacles in the reverse so your will your drive and determination is an obstacle perhaps it's your you know desire your your um determination to make this work is actually becoming a problem it's 
actually the reason why it's not working. Okay, five of pentacles in the reverse. You're needing to use that energy to come out of the cold. Uh, some of you all may have been dumped by this person and you're trying to use that energy to come out of the cold, but spirit wants you to use this energy to come out of that poverty mindset, to come out of that thought process that this person is it. Like there's no other person in the world. Like they stop making people when they stop making that person. <laughs> That's not the case. And they want you to stop limiting yourself um, because it is making you weak. Seven of Wands energy. And it is making you come off as weak. And to this person, whoever this person is, perhaps they even view you that way. Like um, I left you out in the cold. I dumped you. And you're sitting here begging me. You're sitting here trying to come back. You're sitting here um, being weak for me. They may be getting off on that. They might like, mm. for some of you all, this person loves that. They love that. And um, I'm feeling that, but also in your conclusion, in the energy of conclusion, we have the judgment card. And the judgment card is followed by the two of swords, crossroads energy, impasse energy. The two of swords in this deck is represented by scissors that have blades that are opposing. So they can't cut shit because the blades don't work together. They don't work in tandem, just like you and this person don't work together. Okay. So the judgment is that it's no, this person's not going to take you back. They're going to enjoy how much you want them to come back to you. Um, but they're not going to take you back. And um, perhaps for some of you all, it's you that's going to see like, I don't need this person. I can't take this person back. I, I can't keep trying to get their attention and to get them to see me. For some of you, that six of swords, that six of wands is about recognition and getting this person who you didn't work out with to see you. They're not going to. They're not going to. They never have. For some of you, it's not just about being seen physically. You want to get them to recognize that you are the wish fulfillment, that you are the perfect person for them that you are you know the wife or the husband that they should want and desire and deserve but they don't see that and so now it's becoming desperate and so the conclusion needs to be king a uh, knight of pentacles that you move forward that you plan your steps and work your plan and move towards something better, something more stable, something more reliable than whatever this is you got going on with this person. I feel like you are going to start to see what I'm saying as far as you know this person enjoying the torture that you're sending yourself through with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands, both in the reverse. This person is abusive, narcissistic, uh, like I said, they're very much enjoying you squirming, scrambling, and doing all that you can do to try to get back in with them. But whether it's you or whether it's them, bottom of the deck, something worth they, something's going to come and shake this all up. Like something's going to come through and it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's going to be for your own good to get you back on the right track so that you're not chasing what doesn't belong to you, chasing what's not meant for you, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some love oracles. We're gonna start with the lover's oracle and then we're going to do the island time wellness oracle. So what's happening in the situation spirit? Twin flames. Uh, for some of you all, you may have thought they were your twin flame. For some of you, they may be your twin flame, but it's definitely giving your chasing and they're running. With the two of cups in the reverse, I don't think that this is a true twin. I think this may be a false twin. Tell me more. I don't know what card that was. 
It just flew. They said, don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't even worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. Let me see. Cannot make it up. Cannot make it up. The Runner is the first card that came out. They are running in a track star. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. They're running from you. And you are chasing the hell out of them. Keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. You just want a mini. You're chasing them. They're running from you, but you just want a mini. You think they're your twin. And for some of you, they may be your twin. But now is not the time. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, they are <laughs> here for a good time, not a long time. Is what I feel with that paradise card. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference at the bottom. They may have ran off with somebody else. Um, so that card that flew off, the message that I got from that was that's your energy. Like you have so much to say. One of the, that card that flew off had like a paragraph worth of stuff on it. Um, but I feel like you have a lot that you want to say and spirits like it's not even worth saying. They don't care. That person does not care. Okay. So monology, what messages do we have for cancer? Show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius. What's happening here, the way that you are currently showing up in the world is giving hot mess and that is not who you are, Cancer. But that's how you are showing up right now because of this situation. It's time for you to release and awaken with that Aquarius energy and that full moon energy. And bring back the real you, look at you. Don't let the past hold you back. Okay, we got that south node showing up for you. Leave this person where they at. They slowing you down and holding you up. And what's the last one, Algy? Uh, we got two. They said, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus, and be bold and make the first move. What I'm feeling like with these two cards, because you did show up as the Knight of Pentacles towards the end of the reading, which is Taurian energy, is that you need to redirect your energy towards something more practical, something that's going to uh, better serve you in the future. Like your energy has to be redirected. Be bold and make the first move towards your future. Stop chasing them. <laughs> I'm hearing Young and May in my head right now. Oh, uh, she said, mm -mm, stop chasing that bitch. You got fun, but you ain't got no wealth. Go get help, bitch. Like, stop chasing. Stop chasing, basically. I, I, stop chasing. Be the first to let go. When you do that, and that's not saying that's not saying do this so that they can respond. But when you let go, like really let go and move on with your life, this person is going to wonder what happened. Where did cancer go? Why cancer not checking for me no more? Why cancer not blowing me up no more? Why cancer not in my DMs no more? Who was this that cancer is with? Looking all happy. All arm and arm on the gram. Who is that? Now they're gonna be checking for you. But that don't mean try to make them jealous and go get somebody and nah, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying go live genuinely happy. Let them hold their L. Okay, so let's get your postcard from Spirit. Oh, let's get your advice first. And then your postcard from Spirit, advice. What is the advice? Period. Period. Mm. I think you need to let it go. 
It look like another love TKO. We got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Free yourself from this self-imposed mental prison. You are not stuck. You want to be stuck. You're here because it's where you want to be. But spirit not holding you. This person not holding you. You holding you here. It's time to dead the bullshit. <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? Dead the bullshit with the Ten of Swords. Stabbing a bull. Dead the bullshit. It's over. There's no need to reconcile. There's no need to reunite. Okay? Get out of that state of nostalgia. What once was no longer is, so let it go. Even though this may be regretful with the Five of Cups, but the message of the Five of Cups is like, yeah, sure, there are some regrets. You wish things could have played out differently. Three of your cups is knocked over, but two are still standing. Two are still full, which means you still have opportunity. So what you gonna do with it? Make the best of what's left. All right, postcard from Spirit, let's hear it. And it says, dear you, it might be hard to believe you'll ever get where you want to be, feel the way you want to feel, and find peace and security, but you can. There's a lot to celebrate in this life, but first you need to let go of this attachment to achieving certain results. It's easy to get caught in the endless loop of wanting this or that so you can feel safe. The only way out is to surrender the attachment. Tell them again, spirit. Surrender the attachment. It's the only way out. Empty yourself so that you can be filled with something new. The compulsion will be lifted and peace will come. Trust that something better awaits. Something better awaits. Something better awaits. That something new will open up and that you will see new opportunities for fulfillment. The truth is, whenever you get into this loop, what you're really looking for is spirit. That connection is where the power, the peace, and the purpose lies. Everything else follows after that. Give yourself a hug and give me a hug. We got you. I got you. Spirit got you. Your spirit team got you. Okay? The divine got you. So let this go. It ain't what you thought it was. And something much better is on the way anyway. So dead the bullshit. All right. So that is your message, Cancer. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. If it resonates a little too much, you need a personal reading, go ahead and book at SavvySentient.com. And of course, until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all a love and light. Now go get right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.